Welcome to LinkedIn Conversion Secrets. How to convert your LinkedIn connections into high-end clients. How did this online marketing consultant create a LinkedIn sales funnel that generates 5 to 10 appointments every week for free? How did this army recruiter use LinkedIn to position himself as a top copywriter to prepare for his post-military career? How did this sales consultant position himself as an authority resulting in more high-quality connections and actionable comments on his Pulse posts? How did this SEO consultant improve his LinkedIn search rankings, which increased his profile views over 300%? How did this financial advisor book at least three appointments per week with highly qualified prospects in just 30 minutes a day? Here's the deal. This is a time-proven formula as power of helping you create a self-sustaining business without spending a penny on advertising. The people I just mentioned and thousands of other entrepreneurs, business owners, sales professionals, and service professionals have used this blueprint successfully. It's a simple methodology that literally transformed the roadblocks, preventing most entrepreneurs from attracting high-paying clients, as they've always dreamed about. It's this methodology that gets entrepreneurs unstuck so they can design a client conversion system that can double their income and triple their time off. And it's tested methodology that weeds out the tire kickers and connects service professionals like you and me with highly committed prospects that ultimately become high-paying clients. How about the entrepreneurs with that phone attached to their ear, trading too much time for too little dollars? They're a prisoner of the system they created. In the next 90 minutes, I'll take you from frustration to freedom. Or, if you're already succeeding... Get ready for success beyond your wildest dreams. If you can relate to anything I've been saying so far and want to take your business to the next level, please keep watching and type yes into the chat window. This time on our blueprint, you're about to learn will show you how to do three things. Get really clear on who your best client is. Follow a simple step-by-step -step process that gets results. How you can make money doing it. So what is the methodology I'm talking about? It's called LinkedIn Conversion Secrets. For an author, speaker, coach, consultant, business owner, sales professional, or any other type of service professional, this is for you. So keep watching this webinar. And I recommend you turn off anything around you that you might distract you or interrupt you. Turn off your phones, email, Skype, shut the door and just strap in for the ride. Type all your questions in the chat window and I'll answer all of them at the end of the presentation. So this webinar is going to take less than 90 minutes out of your week. But what you're going to learn is what you can make a permanent change in your personal and professional life. If you choose to take this presentation seriously, it can put you in a position to say goodbye to your money worries and debt-related stress forever. So here's what we're going to do in the next 90 minutes. You'll uncover your blueprint and build a super lucrative lifestyle and friendly business. You're also going to learn how to stand out as an expert and authority in your chosen field. A simple proven system for attracting high-end customers. A simple and proven system for attracting high-end customers where they chase you, not the other way around. How to master your message and craft the ultimate sales pitch for converting high-end customers. How to share your compelling story that inspires customers to buy. One-minute strategies to stay on the radar of prospects and reactivate past clients. You're going to be shocked how simple this system is and the immediate results you'll receive. I'm going to teach you the secret to do what it takes to find your best clients, why it's relevant and important to others, and how to monetize it by exposing it to millions. That's why we call it LinkedIn Conversion Secrets. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So first, I hope it's okay if I take a few minutes to share with you what gives me the right 
to host this webinar because I know some of what you some of you don't know me and you're wondering why you should keep listening. My name is Ted Pedromo. I'm the best-selling author of Ultimate Guide to LinkedIn for Business and Ultimate Guide to Twitter for Business from Entrepreneur Press. I'm also one of the most recognized consultants in this industry. Here's the second edition of my Ultimate Guide to LinkedIn for Business book and the Ultimate Guide to Twitter for book. I'm also a frequent contributor to Entrepreneur Magazine and Entrepreneur.com and various other websites. So let's start with the number one question I'm asked by aspiring speakers, authors, coaches, business owners, and other service professionals. So here it is. How do I get more clients? Can you guess what my second most asked question is? How do I get higher quality, higher paying clients? So if you're a speaker, author, consultant, or coach, or service-based professional, and you want to learn the fastest and easiest way to attract new clients and convert them into high-end clients, then keep watching. Because the blueprint I'm about to teach you on this webinar has worked almost flawlessly for the past five years. It's really a game changer. Okay, let's start with a predicament most authors, speakers, and coaches and any other service professional face when you're trying to grow your business. The predicament they face daily is that they're frustrated because they don't know how to get new clients. Even if you do know, they're either getting or not getting enough of them, or the ones they're getting are low-end clients and problem children. And we all know those are not the best kind of clients to have. Okay, so the number reason, number one reason I believe you don't have enough quality flow of new clients attracted to your message is because you don't have this blueprint. Yeah, it's a blueprint. Step-by-step -step process. My hunch is you have a message, and your problem is you can't seem to find a way to get it out to enough people to make a difference for them and a wealthy lifestyle for you. Am I guessing right? Am I at least close to describing the predicament you're in right now? Type yes in the chat window if you can relate. Oh yeah, I see, wow, two, seven, 20. Gosh, it's gotta be at least 30 or 40 yeses. Okay, thank you. If I'm close, then keep watching because this is the perfect webinar training at the perfect time for you. It doesn't matter whether you're starting from scratch or if you've been doing this for 20 years. In my opinion, you can always play bigger. You can always play better and play on your own terms. I know you love step-by-step -step instructions that get you where you want to go in the shortest amount of time. Now let's say I want to go from my home to the Googleplex, which is by this map 55 and a half miles away. Don't you love it the way Google gives you step-by-step -step instructions? Turn right, drive two miles, turn left, turn right, go four blocks, turn left. Step-by-step -step instructions. We don't even think about how we're gonna to get to the Googleplex. Google Maps is gonna take us directly there and it gives us three, four different routes we can choose from. So it's just the step-by-step -step processes make life so simple for us. So here's my blueprint, LinkedIn conversion secrets. This is the simple process I use every, with every client, with every class I teach this. It's what I've worked through for the last five years and really fine tuned this process, but it's based on the fundamentals of attention, interest, desire, action. It's the old AIDA adage. First, you gotta get someone's attention. Then you gotta get them interested in you. Then you increase their desire, you get them to take action. You know, and the overused example of this is you meet someone in a bar. You got to get their attention. Somehow you got to get them interested in you. Then you want to increase their desire. Then you get them to take action and, and marry you if that's your end result. So it's the same process we use on LinkedIn. It's, you got to follow it step one through five in order. And it works like magic. I've been teaching this for five years now and using this process. And I have to say it's, it's the shortcut to high-end clients on LinkedIn. 
So moving prospect prospects from LinkedIn connection to client. Like I mentioned, AIDA. So how do we get their attention on LinkedIn? So here's a listing of financial advisors. So I do a search, just like I went to Google, search for a financial advisor on LinkedIn. I'm looking for a financial advisor. There's 369,000 financial advisors on LinkedIn. So let's just scan through a few here and look. Pamela Schmitz, Robert Harbecki, Andre. Look, are there any of these stand out? There's financial advisor at Brio Financial Group, managing principal at Financial Advisor at Wells Fargo, financial advisor in Nevada, California. None of those grab my attention and stand out. A couple are certified financial planners, but nothing grabs my attention. Let's look at the ad on the right side here. You want to grab people's attention like those. Start your campaign apart. Learn about power for visuals. That's a great example. You want to get people's attention with your profile. Here's the next page of financial advisors. Do any of these really grab your attention? Financial advisor at Edward Jones. Senior advisor. But as Alex is saying, he helping successful individuals maximize financial opportunities. Now, if I was Alex, I would put that in there and leave the job title down in my experience section. And I'll show you that a little later, how that works, because there's lots of ways to rank really well in LinkedIn searches, and one of them is through your job titles and your professional headline. But I always taught, for five years now, I've been teaching, don't just put keywords in there or job titles, put in benefit-related statements. Let people know how you can help them. Your prospects have a burning problem. There's something that keeps them up at night. If you can solve that problem, they're going to hire you. So you want to let them know what kind of problems you solve and how you can help them. None of these, you know, your job title is just not going to do it. And your picture gets attention, but you got to have some way to get them to click on your profile to learn more about you. Now zoom in on these so you get a little better view. See, Puha, she's this. Financial advisor at Edward Jones. Now, how boring. And Alex, he has a little bit of it. He's heading in the right direction, but Tim Russell is using the keyword job title approach. He's a wealth advisor, investment strategist, financial planner, retirement planner. That's another strategy that works really well. And in a bit here, I'll show you my profile, how I'm always changing it. I change it at least once a month just to test to see which gets me more appointments, more profile views, and the bottom line, more customers. So I know we have a lot of coaches on the call today. I was certified as a coach in the year 2000 from the Coaches Training Institute. I'm a CPCC, like fresh white here. Certified Professional Coactive Coach, that stands for. So when I got certified as a coach, there was a handful of coaches. There's only two organizations that had real certifications for coaching. So I was got in at the beginning of the coaching explosion. Now there's 3.5 million people on LinkedIn with the word coach in their, somewhere in their summary. So that's just mind-blowing. So think about it. if you're a coach, how are you going to stand out from 3.5 million coaches and make people click on your profile? The ultimate goal is to get someone to click on your profile to learn more about you and your services and connect with you and hopefully they'll hire you as their coach. So look through these, you know, mindfulness and mentor wellness coach. Fresh White is a mindfulness and life coach at a firm of acts coaching. So he's got a little bit of help, a good thing. Supporting your actions towards your dreams, then diversity training. So I would call a profile like that spaghetti at the wall. He's just throwing a bunch of stuff out there and hoping something sticks with somebody, which, you know, Sometimes it works. So just you go through, search for job title, your job title, and see what your competitors are doing. See how creative they are. Nine out of 10 have really boring profiles. So you have a huge opportunity to stand out here. Here's some more coaches. I know Patricia Fripp. She's a good friend of my friend, Susan Rowans. She's an executive speech coach, presentation skills expert, president at Fripp VP. You don't really need to put president at Fripp VP, VT there. People can look in your profile and in your experience section and find that information. But 
So we have Jay Rook. He's an attorney turned executive coach, Forbes contributor. Somebody may think that's impressive that he's a Forbes contributor. Or if they're looking for an attorney turned executive coach, he's your man because I bet he's the only one that uses that in his profile. So how do we stand out from the crowd? You never get a second chance to make a great first impression. And Will Rogers said this, there's many people take credit for this quote or variations of it, but this is one that Will Rogers supposedly coined. So here's Jason Hoffman. What's your first impression? People will judge your profile in two seconds or less these days. They just scan through it. And if you don't grab their attention, they're gonna click on to the next person. So Jason is not sharing his profile picture with he's using his logo which is actually against terms of service on LinkedIn and he's a financial advisor at Commonwealth Financial Network so you know he's just using the standard LinkedIn by default takes your most current job title and stuffs it in there if you don't uncheck the box and modify it so this really would you trust your life savings to Jason is he giving you a great first impression that you'd actually want to click on his profile to read more about his experience Here's Lissa. She's a senior financial advisor at Golub Group, LLC. Does that mean anything to you? Would that make you want to hire her? Give her your life savings to manage? She's a CFP, CDFA. You have to be careful with putting too many of these abbreviations or certifications in your name field. Because to be honest, I have no idea what the hell CDFA means. And if you're in that industry, I'm sure you do know. But you're going to see a lot of different accreditations here and certifications that mean nothing to people unless they're in the industry. So be careful with that. And here her profile picture, you got a garden behind her basically. You have to be careful because look, she's blending in too much into that into those bushes basically. And then she's got a, a cheap coffee cup, you know, a paper coffee cup there sitting there by her and looks like a laptop. So spend the money and get a good professional photo. You're trying to get people to give you their life savings to manage. So you need to spend a couple hundred dollars on a LinkedIn profile picture. I know you people that follow me for a while, I'm always harping on that, but it's just more professional and you're trying to attract high-end clients. You know, if you're trying to sell a Lexus or a Mercedes, if you're a dealer and you go to work in shorts or a t-shirt, are people going to take you seriously and buy a car from you? You need to dress for the part and project that professional image so the people you want to work with are attracted to that. And people with a lot of money that hire high-end consultants, they're looking for someone that looks very professional and high-end. Sorry for the rant there, but it just drives me crazy. People don't take their LinkedIn profile seriously. Look at Leia Shen. She won't even show us her picture. She's trying to hide behind who knows what, but you know, you really need to let people see a nice smiling professional face. Here's Steve Ryan, CRPC, don't know what that means. I'm sure it's a good certification. He worked hard for it, very proud of it, but look at his profile picture. It's not the right size. It looks like he's cropped out his ex-girlfriend or maybe his girlfriend or wife, they were at a party or something or a wedding, but again, He's trying to attract high-end clients. He won't spend a couple hundred dollars on a professional photographer to take his picture. Stefan, he's an attorney and a CFP, Certified Financial Planner. He has a really horrible selfie with bad lighting and light in his eye. And Think about it. I mean, is this a great first impression? Would you want to click on him, his profile, to learn more about him? Would you hire him to manage your money? Here's Rhonda. Want to have the same standard of living as you have before you retire, if not better? Now, this is great smiling face, good professional picture. See how the background is blurred. It's a nature background, which is great. The lighting is good. You know, she doesn't have light in her face. This is a good picture. You get to know, like, and trust her right away. And she's got the great tagline. Sure, we all want to have the same standard of living or better when we retire. So I would want to click on here and learn how Rhonda could help me. Now, most people don't go to LinkedIn to search for a 
financial advisor? I sure hope you don't. You, most financial advisors are referred by somebody. You'll ask your friend or somebody you really trust or a relative, say, who manages your money? And they'll refer you. And then people will come to LinkedIn and do research on you. 83% of people will look at your LinkedIn profile these days before they do business with you. So people are looking at you. So this is Mario Martinez. He's a business part of mine. We're doing a site called Social Sales GPS, which is coming soon. We're going to be coaching people on social selling, mostly high-end organizations, large sales organizations. We're going to teach them what's new in social selling and how to use it. Mario is a disruptor. He's a hell raiser. And he says, don't do normal. He's got normal upside down. His umbrella's upside down. And he just has videos. He gets, gets in your face. And he stands out from his competitors because he's different. He's got his professional headline, all caps, on purpose, because he wants to be shouting at you. Just This is what I do. I'm here to be different. And I'm going to help you be different and get attention. So this is a great approach if that's you. If you're a disruptive type person, you know, look at lots of people. Steve Jobs is a disruptor. There's lots of people. Bill, Bill Gates is a disruptor. People that have changed the way we live by being different. So being different is not bad. So where does your profile appear? So here's the LinkedIn homepage. And what's important is anytime you do a share and update or comment on someone else's update or like and share it, you will show up there. Your picture, Lou A here, he's always posting and sharing. He's very active on LinkedIn. He's always at the top of my news feed. You see his picture, his name, and his professional headline. So he's a mortgage loan officer at Bank of America, and he's got his you know, license number there. I would put something a little more creative there, but a lot of times big organizations don't let you be creative. I understand that completely. But you got to think out of the box. How can you be different than the other million loan officers that are on LinkedIn? I'm not sure how many, but probably at least a million if there's that many coaches. So over on the right side here, 15 ways to keep in touch is a feature they added last year. So you can congratulate people. So Michael has a new job. So you can reach out to him, type him a short message or like him. But you see what shows up? His picture and his name. So he should crop in more. He's got a, you know, looks like he's standing in front of a window. I mean, you can hardly see him, but you want to have a good smiling, a close, tight headshot. So people get to know, like, and trust you. So this is a social media marketing group. So whenever you post new content in a group, your picture, your name, and your professional headline will show up. So Salim has posted an article here. It's a digital marketing strategy. So this is your opportunity to have that unique professional headline that lets people know how you can help them stand out. And if you comment on these posts, your name and your photo will show up. So your, show, your photo is shown over all over the place on LinkedIn and your name. And you're, because the LinkedIn algorithm takes you, your network, your second level network, your third level network, what groups you're in, and it'll put your profile in front of a lot of people every day. Literally thousands of people see your profile snippet every single day, whether you know it or not. And here's where it shows up in this right sidebar. People also viewed, you see there's, it associates you with your industry, your job titles, who you're connected with, who your friends are connected with. So the algorithm is placing you in front of literally thousands of people. And then that other upper right here says people also viewed Robson Prius. He's in two places there. So you get two exposures there. It's so powerful. This is a few years ago, LinkedIn used to tell us where our profile views came from in great detail. 40% of my profile views came from this sidebar and that little widget on the right side. They don't tell us all that information now, but I'm sure a lot of it comes from there because whenever I update my profile, I get more profile views. And see how this imagery again, stand out with powerful imagery, that ad? See how that's a nice, it booms, it grabs your attention, it stands out from the rest of the page. And looking at just giving Rachel a mini profile critique, 
you know, I'm not sure where this picture is, if it's in front of her house or she's, you know, on vacation or whatever, but you got to tighten it up. We always see her. We don't care that you're sitting in this beautiful lawn by these cabins. We want to see you. Even if you're a professional blogger, it's okay to be in casual clothes if you're not in the corporate environment. But give us a headshot. Let us get to know, like, and trust you. Sorry for all the ranting. (laughs) So, whenever you give someone a recommendation on LinkedIn, your picture, your name, and your professional headline stays in their profile forever. Now, think about that for a second. Think about the power of that. If you give recommendations to really popular people that get a lot of profile views and you actually have done work with them and really do recommend them, I don't I don't condone giving fake recommendations just to get on someone's profile, but you're going to be on some big name people's profiles. So as they come look at their profiles, then you're going to show up there every single time. Some of these, you know, some of these big marketing people or big high level business professionals, the thought leaders and influencers, if you have an opportunity to work with them and you can give them a recommendation after, you're going to get a lot of profile views just from that. Another place is below that. This is Rachel's account. We have 80 shared connections. So you would show up there if we were a shared connection, if we were both connected to Rachel, if you were connected to Rachel and me. So see, it's just so many ways. Your profile snippet is displayed on LinkedIn all over the place. And then there's that people similar to Rachel. This is another little widget. I get 20% of my profile views according to LinkedIn from the stats from a couple years ago. So people will actually scroll through those little pictures to see people similar to it. And it's a great way to do research to find people. So let's say you're looking for a, a really good blogger. What you do is you go find some really popular bloggers that are on here and LinkedIn's algorithm will say, based on all this criteria and all these profiles, these are people that are similar to Rachel. So it does all this calculation for you. So you don't have to go sit there and try to search for people. LinkedIn will say, here's some people you may want to connect with. Does that make sense? I hope that's makes this all making sense to you. If it is, just type yes in the chat window so I know I'm on the right track here. Okay, good, good. Glad you're getting it. Don't forget to ask questions along the way. I'll answer them at the end. So here's another way you need to make a great first impression. Do you see, this is my connections. And as people's anniversaries come and their birthdays and they change jobs, you have a chance to say congratulations to them. So look what shows up here. We've got AJ. He's kind of got another cropped picture. He looks like he's at a wedding and a little half toasted. <laughs> but, you know, if that's the way you want to project yourself professionally, that's all up to him. That's, that's fine. But, you know, would you want to click on AJ's profile to learn more about him? Look at Reed. He looks like he's at a frat party or someone's wedding. He's a little half cocked. (laughs) It looks like, sorry for the comments, but your your first impression. This is your first impression of Reed. So Lauren's got a better picture. You see, these are all little, these are the snippets people see of you. So you get the idea here. You just... Your picture, your name, and your professional headline are just critical. This is, I can show you. Now, 99% of people on LinkedIn, not 99, probably 90%, really need to improve their profiles. So why is this important? So these are your profile views. And LinkedIn will give you a little taste of this. But this is a reason to have a business account. And I'm always advocating... You need to get a business account if you're serious about using LinkedIn to grow your business. Because for less than $600 a year, now you see this number says $59 a month. Like, oh, that's a lot of money. But if you look at it, if you pay for the whole year, it's like less than $600. And this is what to give you. How many people are viewing your profile? And my whole goal with LinkedIn is to get people to view my profile so they can learn more about me and start a conversation with them, which leads to a phone appointment, which leads to becoming a client. That's really the process I use. It's like 
driving people to my website. The more people I can get to come to my website, the more people will get on my email list, the more people become clients. It works over and over and over. It's the same theory. Get people there, get their attention, get them to know, like, and trust you, and they become clients. So what happens here with this profile views, they give you a 90-day snippet. You can see the trends up and down. You can see some weeks I'm more active than others. And on the right side, it tells you exactly what you did to get those up 4% from the previous week. I got 140 actions taken. So I added 110 connections, 13 updates I shared. I liked 10 updates. I endorsed six people. So the more active you are, and if you're consistently active every day, you'll get profile views. You see some weeks I'm not as active and they drop right off. It's like dropping off the table. So this is really great information to know. And what they also tell you is what job titles are looking at your profile. And we really dig deep into this in my linked accelerator classes and when I work with clients. Because if I'm targeting marketing directors in a certain location and certain jobs or certain companies, I can see if I'm getting those people to view my profile through these statistics. So it's really powerful data. And it's, you know, $600 a year is nothing. Because if you get one client, it's going to pay for 10 or 20 years, I hope. So here are the people that actually viewed my profile. So Bob I'm connected with. He's another business partner of mine for Social Sales GPS. So let's say somehow I got Stanley Anderson to look at my profile. He's an executive leadership. I was looking at leadership people. And he came up. I got him to view my profile. So sometimes I view his profile. Sometimes I'll like his content or share it if I really do like it. So there's just lots of ways, lots of strategies to get people interested in your profile and get them to click on you. Here's another little thing you get with the premium. You get a little taste of this with the free accounts, but... They keep taking more and more away from the free and moving into paid. But this tells me how I'm compared with people like me. This, these are my peers. These are the people I'm competing against. So where do I stand in profile views compared to them? So I'm number two. Always trying to beat cat. We're always having them jumping over each other back and forth. So it's, it's, just, it's kind of fun, but it's really good information because it means you're doing as well or better than your competitors. So I rank in the top 1% profile views among professionals like me. So here's the social sales index. This is in Sales Navigator, and they actually let you calculate your own, see your own score without doing Sales Navigator. But it's, I'm a 91 out of 100, which is pretty good, and it shows you where I need to improve. So LinkedIn is telling me based on my, looking at my profile, my professional brand looks good. It's solid, 24 out of 25. I'm finding the right people, 22 and a half out of 25. I need to engage with more insight when I engage with people. So they're telling me I'm doing a good job, but I could do a better job. And I'm 25 out of 25 with building a relationship. So you, know, you can hover all over these and they, they tell you more detail about this, but it's a, you know, it's a benchmark. It tells you how well you're doing on LinkedIn if you're you know, doing the right thing and what you can do better. So what's the biggest mistake people make on LinkedIn? This is a little quiz for you. And the first person that guesses gets an autographed copy of my ultimate guide to LinkedIn for business book. So type it in the chat window. What's the biggest mistake people make on LinkedIn? So, oh, wow. I'm getting a lot of responses here. Okay. So the first one that comes close, I'm going to have to look at this later. There's like, at least a hundred people have responded. Thank you, everybody. This is crazy. I don't see the right answer just scanning yet, but I'll go through this in detail. And the person with the closest answer will definitely get a free autographed book. Wow. Thank you. So here's the biggest mistake people make. This is Bright Bruce Stewart. And gosh, his profile picture is pretty scary. He looks kind of staring us down here. He's got four certifications. He's got his job title in there. He's vice president. He's proud. What's he do? He starts off his summary. It's all about credentials, caring, and communication. He's talking about himself. This is the biggest mistake I see people make on LinkedIn. They talk about me, 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 me. 
I went to this school. I've got all these certifications. I'm a vice president. I'm really cool. It's, you know, Brian Tracy taught me this years ago. Sales 101. W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? I've got a problem. I need someone to solve my problem. I'm looking for a good financial planner or financial advisor. I, I need someone I can know, I can trust. So tell me how you're different. Why I'd want to work with you. I'm looking for a certain kind of person to work with me. And he's just talking to himself. He says, I'm a certified planner with 18 years experience. I was honored by the Five Star Professional in 2014 in San Francisco Magazine. It's one of the top financial advisors. Author of five books. You know, it's okay. But why does that make me want to work with you? It's, it's, you know, great. You've accomplished a lot. But I'm looking for people that tells me, like, like Miranda said, you want to have the same standard of living after you retire than you have now or better? Of course, that's that grabs my attention. And I know she's going to be creative. That just means she's different. So I hope you get the idea there. It's just... This is kind of one of my pet peeves. Everybody's talking about themselves and they're so proud of all their accomplishments. But the way sales has been done from the beginning of time is if you show interest in the prospect and ask them a lot of questions and let them do most of the talking and tell, them, tell you what they're looking for, they're going to like you more than anything. But if you go in there and talking about yourself, they're going to run, run to the hills. We've all met those people at networking events or conferences. Hi, I'm Joe. How would you like to buy my product? How would you like an insurance policy? How would you like to, whatever. They start selling you the minute they meet you. And it's back to, you meet a person in the bar, you go up and introduce yourself and say, would you like to marry me? No, you build a relationship. Attention, interest, desire, action. It's simple. And I know some of you, someone typed in the chat window here, just same stuff, Ted, when are you teach me something new? Obviously, you're not getting it because AIDA is the foundation. LinkedIn will come and go. Facebook may come and go. Google will come and go. The internet, before the internet, people did business by getting attention, interest, desire, action. That's how it works. Okay, interest. Boy, sorry for the rants. Just get carried away here. Your goal is to get them interested in you and your product service as they scan your profile. We all scan. We don't read these days. We don't read great detail. We scan quickly because we're doing most of our reading on our mobile phones these days. Like over 70% of LinkedIn traffic is mobile now. So that's really critical to know. So people are just going to scan for keywords. If something grabs their attention, they're going to open up your profile and read more detail. So here's the first impression you get when they come to my profile. I branded myself with this banner, and it's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel, it's on my Twitter channel, it's on Facebook, it's on LinkedIn. It's consistent. Sometimes I'm staying to the left of the logo, sometimes to the right. But people told me I have a very strong brand everywhere. I'm everywhere all over the internet, so I'm very proud of this. Next thing is the smiling face. Now I'm dressed because this is how I meet with clients. Business casual. I don't wear t-shirts, I don't wear a logoed shirt, I don't wear a tie, so this is me. So when they meet me in person at a conference, this is probably how I'll look. When I speak on stage, I'll wear a tie. It's more formal, depending on the conference, but most of the time I'll wear a tie and a suit. But as I mentioned earlier, I talk about the benefit-related statement, and I'll show you in a few more slides here how I help people. I had one benefit-related. I help people, you know, hope... Help salespeople close more sales faster using social selling or LinkedIn. I had a lot of variations, but it was benefit related. But I was reaching out to my list and I asked them, what is the most important thing for you? What do you really, really want to learn? And they said they need want to learn LinkedIn lead generation or they need LinkedIn lead generation. They don't want to learn it necessarily. They want someone to do it for them. So I put that in as the first phrase and I went back to this old style I used five years ago of just keyword phrases. Two people in the first 24 hours reached out to me and said, I need help with my LinkedIn lead generation. So instant results by just chain map, simple little change. 
And I'll show you how once you make these changes, how you can get a lot of attention too. But so you just got to keep testing and seeing what's getting you the most business. That's the bottom line. What's bringing in the most money and go with it. There's no right or wrong. There's lots of approaches and you just got to keep testing and mix it up and keep it fresh. So here's Joel Calm. He's a good friend of mine. I wrote a book with him. We did a co-authored book and he had a better banner on the background. He's got his head cut off on this one. I'll have to reach out to him and say, hey, you might want to change that. But Joel has the most complete profile I've ever seen on LinkedIn. I know the guy that helped him do this, but you see he's got lots of information in there. He's got, you know, tells about himself, New York Times bestselling author, professional keynote speaker, social influencer, new market, new media marketing strategist. So he's got, you know, lots of phrases there, grabs people's attention. And his address, he's got, I love to inspire and entertain audiences. So he's got lots of creative things here. He's different, being different. He's got the nice smiling face. And you see how the LinkedIn algorithm has associated him with Mari Smith, who is another social media thought leader and influencer. So I highly recommend checking out Joel's profile. I'll scan through it quickly now. Here he's written 45 posts. You see he has you know, creative titles for the posts and great pictures. People, images grab people's attention. So definitely make posts on Pulse. Use really bright images just like Joel's and you're gonna get people to read them. Joel tells his story in a summary. I highly recommend that. That's what I teach all my clients and students. We focus a lot on the summary in your profile because don't just repeat your experience section. People want to get to know, like, and trust you. And remember, they're going to be scanning your profile really quickly. So what you want to do is tell your story. Tell them how you got to where you are. Tell them something you know personal about you so they get to know, like, and trust you. If you open up a little bit in your profile summary, they're going to trust you more than you just third party ones drive me nuts when people are third person. They you know, have somebody else write it about you, like it's a press release or something. It's so impersonal to me. Maybe people think it works for them, but I want to connect with a person, not a third person. Boy, I'm ranting today. Sorry. <laughs> Here's experience. And he's got lots of information. A lot of people just put one or two lines in each job. And one of the tricks I do is I create multiple jobs under my same company and put different keywords in there because the keywords in the job titles helps you rank. And see, he's kind of lumped them all into one job. New media marketing, internet marketer, international keynote, conference speaker, Twitter power. That's his book title. But look at Joel's. I won't go into any more detail here, but you see he's got lots and lots of information iPhone app development. Did you know Joel is actually the creator of the iFart app and he has over 2 million downloads at 99 cents each. So he, yeah, he came out with version 2 last year. It's crazy, but you know, it works. And here's more in front of the Joel. It's just complete. Everything is in great detail. There's not just little sections and bits that are half filled out. He's really thought through this. So he's projecting his professional image to you here. So when people look at your profile, are you letting people know all the things about you, how you can help them, giving you a complete picture? Or are you hiding information because you don't want it out there on the internet? So just go through Joel's. Lots of great stuff here. Okay, it's time to move on to the decision. Let me pick up the pace a little bit here. Now it's time to move the prospect into decision-making phase. So this is where the little messages start starting conversations because to get the decision, my ultimate goal is to get them to take action, which is get them on the phone and close them basically. So how do you get them warmed up? So here, Keith is in the North Bay. We both live North of San Francisco. So he says, helping North Bay business leaders define and achieve something in his profile. So I just sent a little message when I sent the invitation to connect. I see you're in the North Bay, let's connect. So by customizing that invitation message, you increase your acceptance rates. It's well over 50% people will accept you if you customize and give them a reason to connect, something in common. 
So here's the standard message I send to people. I just offer to, I mean, I want to learn more about you and your business. It's all about them. I'd be happy to be a resource with you if you want to connect with someone in my network. If there's anything I do to help you, don't hesitate to ask. Then I added this recently, about, actually about four or five months ago now. Instead of replying with a promotional message, tell me something interesting about you or your business. And I get lots of responses from that line alone. People will come back and say, I would never spam you. I'm not going to ever sell you anything. And then nine times out of 10, they go on with like 10 paragraphs of a sales pitch. Then it's unbelievable how people respond to this. But what my whole idea is here is I want to learn something interesting about you or your business. And a lot of people, about 10% of the people will reply and tell me something interesting about you, about themselves or their business. And then probably another 10% replies with really offended that I would accuse them of spamming me. And it's like, then they come back and spam me. So it's just to get a reaction and get them to respond because it's starting a conversation. So then the next step is I take them to a web page on my website called for my LinkedIn friends. So I want to say, if you want to learn more about me and what, what I do, I created a page for you. Thanks for getting connecting. I have all my contact information. And I say, P.S. I also have a free LinkedIn class for you at tedpedromo.com slash free. And I get a lot of opt-ins for that. So here's my LinkedIn page on my website. So I just welcome them. I have a picture of my LinkedIn profile, a little snip, snippet. And here's one of my benefit related or when I was promoting my book. Number one best-selling author of Ultimate Guide, LinkedIn for Business, helping you close more deals with less effort. So that's when yeah, I'm always testing. And then I tell them a little bit about myself, how I can help you. They can get a free strategy guide on the sidebar here. And there's my free one hour course. And actually I have a little pop up with that same image. This says take my free one hour LinkedIn course. And it just gets people into my sales funnel. So once you get them off LinkedIn, you can send them messages like crazy. <laughs> Here's a message, Beverly Anderson. I connected with her, sent the message. She came back, told me about her business. Then a month later, she listened to one of my LinkedIn presentations hosted by Kathy Demers, and she wants to connect with me. So she's telling me more, and we actually connected on Skype and had a great talk, and now we're going to be on each other's shows. I'm going to interview her, and she's going to interview me. So stay tuned. You'll be meeting Beverly soon. So here I sent her a message. She sent this. I took me a long time to reply because the new inbox made it really hard for me to see. I get about 15 to 20 connection requests a day. And when I accept, we send a message that standard. It's a templated message that we customize you know, here and there. But I'm sending 15 to 20 messages at least on LinkedIn to those people. And I'm also sending happy birthday and happy anniversary little messages just to ping people. So I had her reach out and I, you know, I told her, call me directly in my office, schedule time with me to talk on my scheduler or contact my assistant, she'll set up time, so. And here's another one. I asked, you know, Dave responded, hey, nice to meet you, I like what you're doing with LinkedIn, I'm a professional, so I leads in LinkedIn, and looking for a way we can just talk, see if there's a way we can do business together. He's not trying to sell me but he's saying, hey, maybe there's some opportunity for us to help each other out. So very, you know, non-salesy. I used to work with Sultan at Sitecore. So I hadn't talked to him in a couple of years. Kind of fell off the radar. So I said, hey, congratulations on your anniversary. Because I saw that anniversary message. How are you? We need to catch up soon. And then we had a phone conversation. I just little things, ping, 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 to get back on the radar and start conversations. One thing that's working just unbelievably well are the happy birthdays. So my assistant came up with this. Instead of just saying happy birthday, I said, what if we ask a question? So he said, do you anything special today? I said, yeah, I'm going camping. Started a conversation. So now I can go back and keep that conversation going. It works like crazy. So instead of just the standard click and say happy birthday, customize it, ask them something interesting and a lot of times, about 20% of the time, they respond and tell me what they did on their birthday. Here are some conversations we had back and forth. And somebody I met online here, actually, she's one of my clients. 
I said, happy birthday. Hope you're doing something amazing. And she took a while to get back to me, but you know, she says, what's new with you? I compliment her because she does really great Facebook posts. How can I help? Hope your week's off to a great start. And you know, then with, I said, I'd love to interview on my weekly show because she became, she had a brain injury, traumatic brain injury, actually a couple times. And she's recovered. Now she's a TED speaker. She's very inspirational. So I want to have her on my show so I can introduce her to my audience. So I said, thanks for thinking. Maybe some conversation back and forth. And now we're scheduling time to have her as a guest on my show, Social Selling TV. So action. Now's the time to get into the fun part. Get them on the phone and close them, like I mentioned. So there's ways to do it. Free consultation, discovery sessions, strategy sessions. There's lots of ways to close. You, I'm sure you have your favorite. I hope you do. But in my LinkedIn class, I'm adding this time how to close or how to create a structure. This is, you know, different ways to do it. Test them and see what works. But free consultations seem to be kind of burn out these days. There's lots of ways to get people on the phone. But once you take them through the process of AID, you've got the, you've got a relationship going. They know, like, and trust you. They see you're an expert in your industry. They trust you. And they th think in that process is in the getting them interested. They get to know, like, and trust you by seeing your work. They experience your work with those videos or articles or both. And then they're convincing themselves that you are the right solution. You don't have to convince them you're the right solution for them just by them seeing your complete profile and all the content, half the close is already done. They've they convinced themselves you're the person. So here's the gap close. I've learned Bill Barron teaches this really well. And there's lots of people. It's just a traditional way to close people. You get them to describe their perfect personal and professional life, have them visualize that perfect life and describe how they're feeling. Get your prospects, describe where they are today, get them to focus on their problems and struggles. So you're getting them into this from euphoric into dragging them down in the ditch, saying, oh man, I'm a loser, I need help. Then you get them to describe that gap. So where they want to be and where they are, and they talk about that gap and how they're feeling. Then you give them a few ideas how they could close that gap. You don't close it for them, you just give them some, some inspiration or hope. Really, it's about giving them hope. And you say, so do you want to do this for yourself? Or would you like me to help you implement these actions with you? And by that time, you know, it's you can easily close 80% when you get to do it right. ROI or value selling, you get to share, we talk about numbers. How much are you earning? How much do you want to earn the next 12 months? And then talk about that gap into where you are, where you want to be. Describes the benefits of meeting their 12-month goals. How's that going to change their life? Ask them questions like, if you invest $1,000 and see a 10% 10 10 increase in your bottom line, is that a good investment? What would it be worth to you to see a 100% increase in your bottom line? So you kind, of, you, know, you kind of got them euphoric, saw that gap, thinking, oh man, I got a long way to close that gap. And then you get them thinking, oh, if I invest $1,000 and get 10% increase, what would it be like to get a 100% increase? Imagine doubling your salary or doubling your income for your business. COI, this is Alex Mondosian taught me this close. This is his preferred method. Instead of focusing on ROI, you focus on cost and what, what's going to cost you if you don't take action and work with you. So you get into the financial goal 12 months from today again. So you start with building that gap. Where do you want to be? Where are you now in your current monthly income? Do the math. How far away are you? So you're thinking, you make them really think about looking at, oh gosh, that's a long way to go. I might need help. Then you talk about what will happen if you don't fix the predicament you're currently in. You may lose your house. You know, you may lose your, your marriage. What are the dire consequences? What will life be like in six months if this predicament doesn't change? So you get the idea. These are all similar. You get them feeling good. You get them feeling crappy. Describe that gap and get them to hire you. So why don't you succeed after investing in most online courses? This is a little change gears here. So this is something Alex Mondosian lives near me, so we get together for coffee on Sunday mornings a lot of times, and we just 
talk about, you know, what's working in our business, what's working, what's not working. And we just brainstorm things like this. And this is something we came up with about, we all know if that 10,000 hours. If you do 10,000 hours of something, you're going to become wisdom level or a master at it. You're a master of that craft. And then quote gaze goes from simplicity to complexity on the vertical axis and then the time on the right side here. So the different colors are the blue is done by you. So if you want to become an expert, you need 10,000 hours of your time. Done with you, you work with someone to help you get there faster. Done for you, someone just says, hell, I don't want to master that. You just do it for me and I'll get the benefits of being a master of it. So here's how it breaks down. So here, if you do it yourself, you got all that work, that's all on you, 100% on you. So here we go. This is if you get a coach, basically. A coach helps you get there. You're doing it with you. You know, both of you could be doing the work or they could be teaching you and you implement and they, they help you get there the shortest path. And here is just, just do it for me. Give me the results. <laughs> Which, you know, depending what you're selling, you know, if you're selling something that's high ticket items or if you want to, if you close a deal, if your customer's worth $25,000 to you, and if you can get one new client a month, is it worth investing $25,000 in a coach that's going to implement a system for you that would, every month, give you another $25,000 client? Of course, that's a no-brainer. So you got to think in those terms. You know, you think you see those big numbers and you're like, wow, I can't afford that. I did that for years. I would, you know, invest in some internet marketing courses but then they had these masterminds. I remember when I was in the Dan Kennedy world, it was $10,000 a year to be in Dan's mastermind. I was like, no way could I ever go home to my wife and say I spent $10,000 on a one-year coaching program. And I look back now, all of the big name marketers that you know were in those classes together in that mastermind. They spent $10,000 and they've made multiple millions as benefit now. And now it's like, you know, almost impossible to get in there. They've made it so hard. The waiting list is forever. And it's some, some of them are twenty-five to $50,000, which think about it. If you spend $50,000 for one year of mastermind and you see everybody around you, you can make millions of dollars from that $50,000 investment. It's a no brainer, but just getting over that hurdle took me years. And now I've been in a lot of high level masterminds. Definitely worth the investment. So which do you prefer? Do it yourself, done with you, or would you like to have it done for you? So let me ask you this. What would it be worth to you and your business if you could get at least one new client every month? So think about that number. So if you get if I hired you today, how much would I pay you? So if I paid you $10,000 over the next year, would that be worth it if you can get one new client? So if I get one $10,000 client, if you're a coach, every month get one more $10,000 client. Is that worth the investment? What's it worth to you? So this is my linked accelerator class, and this is really what we focus on. When I ask my, my clients and my students, what, are the, what do you want most? from me? What do you need me to teach you? They said they want more money and more time. Those are the two things that really boiled down to. It wasn't about learning LinkedIn and strategies and learning online marketing or learning Google or whatever. They want more money and more time in their life, which you can't put a price on time. So this is really the blueprint for the course. We go through this step by step by step. Step one to two to three to four. And then we actually begin with a pre-module because you got to get prepared for step one. So here's the process we go to. The bonus module zero. So it's a bonus module. It's really about committing to the process. I'm a certified coach. I've worked with, you know, coached thousands of people over the last 16 years. You really got to set your goals, get committed to the process, and get clear on who you want to work with and who you don't want to work with. What professional image do you want to project 
on LinkedIn and on the internet, not just LinkedIn. And then I'll show you what's, what's new on LinkedIn. They just announced more changes today. So they're going through unbelievable massive changes. But what's cool is the way, what I teach in my process is you strip away the technology. You can use any technology you want or face-to-face -face, and it works. Because we used to do business face-to-face the internet gives us the ability to connect with literally people all over the world. So we have a huge reach, but you still need to know who you want to work with, who you don't want to work with. You don't want those problem children clients and what image, like I have my image I project to the internet. So we really work on that week zero. Then module one, obviously we get the attention. You create your professional headline. I show you examples. We brainstorm it, and I have a couple videos. I've worked with a brand new client. She has never been on LinkedIn. She's been in the real estate world for years, over 20 years, and she's going out on her own. So now she's getting on LinkedIn. So I have some great videos to show you on that. So we want to attract your perfect client and pre-qualify people. If you know, you're know you putting out a message and an image a certain way, some people just won't want to work with you, and that's great because you don't want to work with those kind of people. You want to work with the right people. And then how to write persuasive selling phrases into your profile. Something I've been doing now, I'm starting to do, and it subconsciously starts the selling process for you. Next, module two, it's about interest. You're right for my network. You know, you really have to connect with the right people. It's okay to grow your network really big, but you want to have a, some kind of focus and some kind of strategy in who you're going to connect with and who you're not going to connect with. Then we talk about adding content to your profile. So you're really perceived as an expert like Joel. I have lots of content in mine. I'm perceived as an expert in LinkedIn and social selling. So we talk about getting LinkedIn recommendations. There's an easy way to do that. It's really hard to just reach out to people and say, hey, can you do this? Can you give me a recommendation? There's easier ways. Then how to get that invitation acceptance rate over 50%. That's a big, big factor because LinkedIn monitors that. If you get too many I don't knows, you might have to be putting in email addresses. So there are ways they flag you. And how to start those conversations with new connections and move them from LinkedIn into the email list. And we'll be using the same process I do. I help you, you know, create the pages for your website. I you know, coach you on that, show you exactly what to do. Module three, desire decision. The one minute keep in touch strategy to stay on the radar. Like I, I pinged Sultan, who I hadn't seen in two years, and we reconnected. Reactivate dormant customers the same way. Warm up your connections you haven't heard from in a while. There's so many different ways to do this on LinkedIn. It's magic. How to identify your connections who are ready to buy? Wouldn't you like to know that? How prospects convince themselves you're the right solution for the problem. I mentioned this earlier. This By them doing all these little things consistently, it gets them to the point. It's like, wow, I really need to work with Ted. And then they'll be begging you to work with them. You can have a waiting list for people. You'll have so many people wanting to work with you. Quick strategies to fill your calendar with appointments. That's people want their, their appointments filled. And once you get them on the phone, you got to know how to close them too, obviously. That's where we work in action. You know, what's the best way to pre-qualify people? How many touches do they need before they'll want to do an appointment with you? How do you pre-qualify them so you aren't wasting your time doing discovery sections, strategy sections with the wrong people? And then we share the 13-step closing process I learned once you get them on the call that works really well. And then module five, we get into your daily routine. This is I have a blueprint for this too. It's This is what you do. Monday for 15 minutes, I connect with people. Tuesday, I like, comment, and share. So it's a, it's a plan. Every day you go onto LinkedIn with a, an intention. You stay focused on that task. When you're done, you get off LinkedIn. So you go on link, LinkedIn groups one day. You post Pulse content. So have a strategy and a plan so you don't go on LinkedIn and spend four or five hours just kind of reading content that's like, whoa, <laughs> you waste half the day. You know how that goes. And then module six, beyond LinkedIn, this is how we move people, building your sales funnel off of LinkedIn. And if you already have a sales funnel, great. We'll make sure that LinkedIn fits perfectly in with it 
And we can, you know, try to improve your landing page conversions or help you write email sequences that are in sync with your conversations on LinkedIn. And then creating that compelling content that want to get people on your email list. And if you want to create products to sell, we can brainstorm that. So lots and lots and lots we can do. And that's why I've taught this LinkedIn class many times. This is actually number 10. And I'm taking it beyond LinkedIn now because everybody focused on LinkedIn so much they weren't moving them off LinkedIn because getting them on your email list lets you connect with them at a deeper level. You can send them more messages and give them webinars, give them training. A lot of times they don't see their LinkedIn messages. But you always want to get them in case LinkedIn changes the rules, which websites have been known to do. The Google slaps, the Facebook changes, LinkedIn's making changes. Once you get them on your list, you own that contact. Then we help write the custom thank you messages, invitation messages, content, you have little pinging messages, the birthday messages. We help you create all that. So we're gonna focus all on messaging. And then once you get them into your email list, helping them you know, write those sequences that keep them engaged till they're ready to take action. Bonus module eight, we're gonna do traffic. Getting people to pro view your profile, all the tactics I use, getting people into your sales funnel, LinkedIn traffic strategies, how to get people to read your content on LinkedIn, how to do LinkedIn ads if you want. You can do Facebook tra strategies, Twitter strategies, any social media. You want to have a strategy so you're always directing traffic between your social media sites and eventually getting them to your website so you can get that contact information. So are you ready for more? Okay, you remember this diagram. We've got three options. Done by you, done with you, and done for you. Now, a lot of you said, you know, you, you prefer to be the done for you. I was a done by me forever. And I'm an expert in a lot of things and a lot of that knowledge I don't need. So I've learned to be smarter about where I spend my dollars. And, you know, I have my preferred ways of doing it now. Sometimes... Sometimes I like to do it myself. Sometimes it's done with you. Sometimes it's done for you. But when I have a no-brainer decision and I know I can get instant results, you definitely want to do the done for you. So this is the done for you option. So as all these modules, you get lifetime access to all the updates. And you know, realistically, if you're doing the done for you, you don't care about that content and the group calls and the one-on-one -on -one calls you will want to do because that's where we create your strategy. <clears throat> and you get access to the private Facebook group. And I'll really help you optimize and implement your LinkedIn profile changes. So we'll, I'll be doing it for you. Me and my team will work together with you. We have to interview you and get the information. But we'll go into LinkedIn and do all this stuff for you. And we'll post content. And we'll get people to view your profile. And we'll get you know people to connect with you and build your sales funnel. And we'll manage your LinkedIn account to the end of 2016, including building the network and messaging and keeping in touch and really just getting the buzz going. Because once the momentum starts rolling, like I said, I get 15 to 20 connection requests a day and I don't have to do anything but those normal activities. And then we'll warm up your connections really to get them to the point to get them on the phone with you. So we're doing all the work. We'll teach you the strategies if you want. But the bottom line is we're going to build you a LinkedIn sales funnel and tie it in with your offline sales funnel. If you don't have one, we'll build it for you. So it's a complete sales funnel solution with LinkedIn being the impetus driving that traffic to your sales funnel. So there's only five spots available and I really need to apply because this isn't for everybody. Like I said, you may not be ready for this. You may be ready for it. But I want to really interview you, make sure you're the right face. I, don't want to take your money if you're not ready for this. But if you are, definitely, this is a huge opportunity because you can save years of learning and years of time implementing all this. We're just going to do it for you. So you think about it. If one client is worth $10,000 for you and you can get a new client every month, get $120,000 in extra revenue by investing $25,000, this is the right solution for you. So don't... Don't think the 25000 is an outrageous number. Think about the big picture of your business. And if you can get one or two really ideal clients a month from this, 
And I'm not promising you I'm going to get 10 clients a month because LinkedIn's a slow and steady process. It's about building relationships one to one. Over time, the momentum builds. And if you can really, it's realistic to get one new client a month using this process. So if that's the option for you, go to linktoaccelerate.com, apply, and we'll just spend some time with you. I will personally interview you and see if you're a fit. See if I'm a fit for you. So option two, done with you. Lifetime access to all nine self-study modules and the bonus modules. And I'm always adding new videos as LinkedIn makes changes. There's going to be always new content in this area. And you, know, you never have to renew that again. You know, it's always you get lifetime access. You get nine live group calls. This is where we dig in to your profile, to your landing pages. And we all work together to come up with the best professional headline for you. You get group input. You get my group, my coaching and my LinkedIn coaches will be helping on these calls. So what we do is it's like a mastermind, a little mini mastermind. We're giving you ideas. You're telling us where you want, what you think is good. We say, yeah, you're no, it's really one-on-one -on -one working with you. It's not me just on the phone where you email in your questions in advance and I answer them and you don't get to give any feedback back. These are interactive live calls. Then I'm adding as a crazy bonus, nine one-on-one -on -one calls with me. So you get to create your strategy with me personally too. So these are 30 minute calls and we schedule them. They don't have to be nine weeks consecutive. It's over a three month period is best probably. And then access to our private Facebook group. So the whole goal is to have a complete functioning LinkedIn lead gen process and off LinkedIn sales funnel done with you where you're implementing, but we're, we're coaching you. I'm coaching you through this. So it's a team effort. This investment is 1997. Again, think about the big picture of your business. If you get one new client every month, is 1997 an investment that's worthwhile? If your clients are only worth $100, it's probably not a smart investment. If your clients, if you get one new client a month at $1,000, you're going to earn $12,000 extra revenue this year for that investment. So if you're interested in that, linkedaccelerator.com, select the done with you option. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out. I can answer them. Here's option three, do it yourself. This is lifetime access to all the self-study modules. I'm giving access to all the group calls. I usually don't give access to this and do it yourself, but you'll be able to get on, on the group calls too and ask questions for those so you can get the support you need to be successful. And I'll give you one one-on call with me where we create your LinkedIn strategy together and access to the private Facebook group. So, you know, you're getting a lot for that. The group calls are at least an hour long. Usually they go up to two hours. So that's 18 hours there. You've got self-study modules. You're going to have over 30 hours of support with this do-it-yourself module. So, you know, we're here to help you succeed. That's my goal. And that investment is $497. So if you're interested, I'd love to have you join us and... That's all there is for today. So your three options again, do it yourself, $497. Done for you. I do it all for you. That's 25K and 1997. So if you can get one new client every month for this investment, is it worth the investment? That's the question you have to ask yourself. So go to linkedaccelerator.com and get started. Uh, Stefan can't hold a job. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Bill wants to know, have you tested a white background for your picture versus the other backgrounds? You know, a professional photographer is the best way to go. If you do too dark of a background, you blend in. White might be too bright. You just you know, leave that to the professionals. I know that some of the nature ones look good, some don't. And Greg, yeah, I can post the slides available. Yeah.
And Cedric says, 2,884 views, wow. Ron wants to know what CPC C stands for after my name. That's coaching certification. I just added that last month because I was trying to connect with more coaches that got certified. It's, it's coactive, certified professional coactive coach. So it's a certification that I got in 2000, and it was a two-year process. So I was trying to connect with a lot. They've certified thousands of people at this point. Again, I'll go through the questions, and whoever got, came closest to the answer, I'll send them a copy of my book. Should the post be different? Steve wants to know, should your post be different from your blog? You know, it's you don't have to worry about the Google, people worry about that duplicate content penalty. That's when people used to build websites and they'd create like 50,000 pages on a website with a lot of the same content and they would just change a little bit. That's what they're penalizing. So you can post the same content on your blog as you do on LinkedIn because you're going to have a different audience there. And only LinkedIn members will see your pulse posts. So it doesn't hurt to put them in both places. Or you can write a post and refer people to the other. So you know, write a blog post on your website and send people to LinkedIn if you want to read the rest, or vice versa. Joel's last name is Com, C-O-M-M. -M. And we've got Calendly. What about companies or corporate company pages that have no pictures? Uh, they're coming out with a whole new version of the company page, actually, this month. It's just, I just saw that. It's still a templated layout, uh, but it's good for big brands. And Joseph, yes, there will be a replay, and you can get my book on Amazon or on my website. Have I worked at all with LinkedIn ads further than recruiting? Yeah, I've actually run LinkedIn ads periodically. They can be really effective. Actually, they're really good at filling webinars. It's a little more expensive. It's definitely $5 a click, 4 to $6 a click on average. But you can really target them to the right people, and they seem very effective for that. They just added tracking, and they're going to be adding retargeting to their ad platform very shortly. So they do work in a lot of cases, in a lot of cases, they don't work. Those little sidebar ads, I never had luck. I haven't run them in about a year. So LinkedIn ads can be good, but it's, it's tough because a lot of people don't click on ads on LinkedIn. What they've done is the in-stream ads now in the news feed, those work much better because they blend in with the content. So, yeah, it depends what you're trying to get them to do. People don't like to download, from my experience, you know, the old ebooks. Download this free guide. Very few people do that anymore, especially in the business to business environment. So it has to be like a really high quality, reputable paper, newspaper a paper, like from Gartner Reports, Gartner Magic Quadrant, something to that level. So okay, that's it for the questions. Okay, everybody, I want to thank you for your time. I'd love to see you in the class. Link to Accelerator.com, get started with three options. And if you have any questions, you can definitely reach out to me, find me on LinkedIn, or you can help at tedbrodromo.com. Okay, thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.